How do you engage an audience as a singer? If you're a singer having a hard time captivating an audience, becoming more impressionable, more memorable, and especially during an audition, if you're doing something that is just not captivating someone's attention, then you're not gonna book the show, right? Or if you have a show and you're singing on stage, you think you did a really good job, but they just don't remember who you are. Well, I'm going to talk to you about some ways for you to get better at it. First of all, you want to be proficient at your vocal skills. To make sure you don't even lose the audience's attention, you actually have to be good at what you say you can do. So if you are a singer performer, you must be able to showcase that you can sing. You can expand your range, you can sing higher notes, you can sing lower notes, you can carry a tune, you can stick with the rhythm and stay in the key. However, if you sing out of tune, or if your breathing is out of whack, then the audience can hear that and they will just be turned off immediately. Before you can do the next thing that I am going to talk about, make sure you are leveling up your vocal skills and then you can do what I'm going to talk about next. Second thing you want to do to become more impressionable and engage an audience is storytelling. A song is basically a story just told in musical form. It is a way of communicating and stories are very powerful. If you can execute storytelling in your song and have amazing vocal technique, then you are going to be just way more impressionable and stand out way more compared to other people who didn't take the next step to level up their performance. There are a lot of singers out there who train really hard to level up their technique, but something is always just kind of missing. So even if you have great technique and you go into an audition and you think like you nailed it, but you didn't get the job, this might be the reason why. You're just missing that emotional connection. The people who want to cast you can't relate to you. They don't see where you fit in the show. They don't see where you can fit in their team. And when you're going to an audition, it's about fitting into the team, providing value to that team. And if you don't provide anything, if you just provide vocal technique, that doesn't help them <laughs> with anything. So understand that you have to combine your vocal technique with performance skills so that you become this like amazing, well-rounded performer to do many jobs. It's not about trying to be better than anyone. It's just about being versatile and having the right tools to do the job when asked to do the job. If you are watching someone who can sing really well, there's more to their technical skills that you notice, right? To make them memorable, to make you think of them even after the show, it's their performance. For example, I was in like a Christmas show and I was in the ensemble and I was just an elf. I mean, I was the lead elf, <laughs> but I was still ensemble, right? So I didn't care about me being the center of attention because my character is helping another character um, kind of go through the situation in the story. So the character's name was Holly, and I had a lot of compliments after the show on how amazing I was, and I was ensemble. I'm a nobody. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a nobody in the show. And all I did was just focus on the character that I'm in and focusing on the story that this character is going through. Everyone else on stage was just kind of standing there and just singing the songs that they were told to sing. And that's really bland, right? It doesn't bring anyone into the show. And the whole point of being a performer is being immersive, creating this, this story that the audience can just watch and escape reality for like one hour. But if you don't escape reality, if you're not immersed in your character, and stick to the story and be in the story, then the audience sense that and then they're taken out of the story as well. So me, I was like really in character. And when I was on stage, nothing else mattered but the characters' motivations. <laughs> and I was helping Santa because it's a Christmas show. And my objective was always to help Santa, no matter what, whatever he needed, 
I am there. Whatever's going on that is affecting our present delivery, I was there and I was trying to figure out every single thing that I could to solve that problem. But see, that wasn't in the script. <laughs> that wasn't even in the stage direction. It was just something I wrote down when I was listening to the song that I had to sing and figure out how to be in character, tell the story, and also drive the story forward too, right? There's also that, but we can talk about that later. Right now, just focus on staying in the story, being in the moment, and staying in character. So many times I see singers be partly in character, and then they lose themselves when they focus too much on their technique, and then they go back to being in character. That's, that's not, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> because then you're gonna bring me out of the immersion and be like, oh wait, did the performer just became a performer and then back in character? So let's break down why storytelling is so important in your singing. Number one, stories have a message. Stories usually have a point, and when you are listening to the lyrics and understanding what it means that you are singing about, the audience can walk away thinking they have learned something very valuable. And the key word is value. If you're just singing a bunch of pretty notes and you sound really good, but there's no value to be taken away from it, then the listener just kind of walks away thinking like, oh yeah, that person sounds good, but I, in a few weeks, they won't remember who you are. If you don't know what the message is in your song, print out the lyrics and just sit there and read it. If there are any keywords that pop out at you, circle it or highlight it and figure out what's going on in the context of the song. What are they talking about? What are they trying to convey? And why are they trying to uh, deliver this message? And if you are a singer with great vocal technique, you are going to be able to deliver that message, which means you are providing value to the listener. And this can be applied to any audition you go to. Treat your audition like a performance. Treat the casting table like as if they are the audience. If they are not captivated, if you do not have their attention in the first three seconds, you lost them. Take the time to figure out the message in your song. Reason number two is stories create memories. People can associate you with their own memories if you know how to execute it really well. So some singers like to take part of their own life experiences and put it in the song, but it's not completely their life experience. They just kind of relate to what they have gone through to make the song make more sense to the listeners. Memories are associated with feelings and emotions. So if you can connect with them in that way, you become memorable because now they are associating that song with you. Therefore, they're going to remember you. They're going to think about you when that song comes up or when they're thinking about the show, they're going to be like, oh yeah, remember this singer who really understood me because they kind of talked about a memory that was kind of buried behind my mind long ago. Songs are very powerful. They can kind of bring up memories that you don't want to bring up. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, that's what's needed for a listener. Maybe they do need to bring up some memories they were trying to bury or bring up happy memories that they do want to remember and your song kind of evokes that. And if they want to remember a happiness, they go to your song, they listen to how you sing it and how you deliver it, and therefore you become memorable. Reason number three is stories create emotions. If a singer can connect to their listeners emotionally, that makes a huge impact on their performance and therefore making you impressionable and they will want to come back to you more and more. The reason why that is, is it makes you relate to the listener more by connecting them on an emotional level because we are all human and humans are flawed. Humans go through life experiences, traumas, conflicts, and struggles. So if you are real with your listeners, they're going to understand you more. You're going to be more relatable and they're going to be associating you with their emotions. And if you can play into their emotions, it's really powerful, almost kind of dangerous. <laughs> so don't take it too far. The emotions that make us human are like sadness, happiness, amusement, guilt, 
loss, grief, any of those feelings can be in your song. You know, whether they're very sad or very happy, those are emotions and you can use them to elevate your performance. All you're really doing is just showing that you are also human, making you relatable. And if you are relatable, they connect with you. And if they connect with you, they remember you. Reason number four is stories build connections. So with storytelling and singing, with everything that we talked about, you know, memories, emotions, and having a message, they can connect with you. If an audience can connect with you, then they feel like they can approach you more. They can come to you with their problems and their their struggles and know that you also understand what they are going to. This is a type of feeling where a, a listener feels like you are directly talking to them. And sometimes if you're listening to a great singer performer, it almost feels like, wow, this person really knows my situation. How do they know? How can they read my mind? If you're a singer and you can do that, that will make you stand out that will engage the audience, that will captivate their attention, and then they're gonna just stick with you, they're gonna remember you after the show, after the audition, and that is just gonna make you stand out in general. So work on storytelling, it takes time to kind of develop. Some people think they are acting or storytelling their song, but then they come out very awkward. <laughs> I would have to see what you look like when you are trying to act out your song. So a great way to solve this problem, if you're not sure if you're, if you're looking awkward or not, is record yourself and then rewatch and see how you did. Do you like your gestures? Do you like your mannerisms? Do you like the way you deliver the song? If not, try a different way, rehearse it first, and then record it and watch it again. Another way to kind of solve that issue where you don't know what you look like when you are storytelling a song is, ask for guidance. Sometimes we get really self-critical when we watch ourselves and so we kind of nitpick everything and that kind of delays the progress in your practice. So instead of being self-critical and negative and judgy about yourself, look for guidance, look for professional guidance. I've tried asking for friends guidance, uh, parental guidance and it never works. It's just different, right? They're just on a different level of relationship. You need a perspective from someone who is professional and someone who can just be neutral and just watch your performance and give you honest feedback, giving you honest notes to help you improve and progress, giving you different ideas, giving you different options to choose from, and then testing it out with them. So that's why having a coach is really great. A lot of athletes need coaches. A lot of dancers need coaches. Actors need coaches. And therefore, singers need coaches as well. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems such as having a bland performance. It's very vanilla. It's very boring, even though you have very great technique. And then you can't book the job that you want or go past the callback and then you see other people get cast in the show, but you didn't, that might be the problem. So if that is something you want to do, go on my website and book an appointment.